So I know these monitors are becoming more and more expensive. They are around $600 to $800. But in this case, I have a new monitor by BenQ that has a $200 price range. Now, this is the new EW2780 1080p monitor that supports HDR, FreeSync, and a beautiful IPS display. So in this video, I'm going to connect it to my Xbox One X, my 4K Amazon Fire Stick, and my PlayStation 4, and show you how this performs and some of its features as well. So welcome to the channel, I'm Jolster, and let's do this. All right, so first I'm gonna try it with the Xbox One X, of course. This is where I play the most of the time. So let's go into the settings real quick. Settings, and then let's go into TV, TV and display options. And this is, like I said, this is a 1080p. So you only have the option of 1080p and 720p. Now on 4K TV details, you're not gonna have everything right here. Everything is in red. Although, let's go and check over here, video modes. This monitor does support variable refresh rate although YCC422 and HDR10. So like I said, even though this monitor does support HDR10, the Xbox doesn't support HDR uh, on other resolutions rather than 4K. So you see, this is since this is not 4K, well, we're not gonna be able to use HDR, which I don't know why Xbox or Microsoft hasn't done an update on this. This is very odd. So let's go and play Doom real quick, and then we're gonna play some Call of Duty, and we're gonna switch to other consoles like the PlayStation 4. All right guys, so here we go. Now this is Doom and oh boy, oh boy, this looks beautiful. Look at this, look at this bright colors. That's what I like about IPS is that the colors look fantastic. Beautiful colors. Now the contrast is not as good as a VA panel, of course, this is IPS. So it's gonna have some glow. And I did notice there is some glow right here through the camera, which is not as noticeable as when you are in person. I also noticed there's some like lines and some squares because the camera is catching up some extra details. But like I said, in person, you won't see those little details. It looks very clean and sharp. Now another thing I like, oh shoot. Now another thing I like about this, holy shit. Oh, let's get that eye, nice. Well, as I was saying, another thing I like about this is the sound. My goodness, the sound is crazy. Now the speakers are located behind the monitor, facing backwards, which is not ideal for speakers, but they still sound really good. nice let's go over here I think I've done this before I'm not sure oh I missed it I missed it oh well gotta do it again all right guys so this is doom let me switch to another game let's do this look how beautiful the colors look even though this is a 1080p with emulated HDR, Jesus Christ! Is going to dominate. Let me tell you, this feels very responsive. Even though this is a five to five millisecond response time, it still feels very responsive, and I like it because this is very important, especially if you are a competitive gamer. Oh my God, that guy almost killed me. <laughs> Oh, I got that guy too. Oh, wow. Let's go down and play some more. Oh. What the hell? Where are you going? Where are you going? Got a personal raider now. Woo! I'm liking this. Oh, another kill. My goodness, Joser, what is going on? Oh, no. Oh, another kill, Joster. You are dominating. I got a cruise missile now. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. So now I am connecting my Fire Stink, my Amazon Fire Stink, and I have the 4K with HDR and Dolby Vision. And let me tell you, this monitor, it'll take it like as a 4K uh, program. So let's go over here. For example, you guys can see right there on top, it says 4K UHD. And it also 
takes it as a, an HDR. So basically what I had to do is I had to go to settings on my Fire Stick and just push HDR to always HDR. That way it'll take it as an HDR uh, program. So for example, I don't know if you guys have ever watched this uh, TV uh, episode, The Voice. Man, this is one of my favorite shows right here on Amazon. You guys better check it out. So uh, this looks pretty good. Also, let's go over here. Let me show you another one that's actually pretty good too. This one, and if you go through it, then you notice that it will have HDR. You notice in the bottom it says HD, HDR. So it's playing at 1080p, but it will take the HDR if you want to the use the native HDR from this uh, monitor. So over here, you only have two choices. So that is the cinema HDR and then the regular HDR. Now I do notice that with the cinema HDR it has better contrast. So you, you'll get to see more details. I like it. But uh, so what it does is the uh, HDRI or cinema HDR. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, that one. Notice this one is the cinema HDRI. So basically what this does is that it'll adjust the colors and the contrast and the temperature depending on the ambient light that you have. So right now I'm in a dark room, well, sort of dark room, and it'll adjust the colors and the brightness depending on that. So that's pretty good because the colors do look nice. I mean, the camera will show you something else, but in person, guys, this looks way better, right? So just wanted to keep that in mind. All right, guys, so now let's check out the PlayStation. I have the regular PlayStation 4. I used to have the Pro, but it broke down on me about a year ago, so I bought the regular 1080p PlayStation, and I'm planning on buying the PlayStation 5, so that's why I wasn't going to invest in, uh, again on the Pro. So let's go in the settings, because like I said, this monitor does support HDR. So I'm going to show you how in the PlayStation HDR works, even though I have this on a 1080p. So let's go to sound and screen, right? And then go video output and the here resolution. I have pretty much everything in automatic. You can adjust your HDR. It's super easy. Just make sure that the logos are in everything. You know what? I already did this. And you guys probably already did this too. Let's go to uh, video output information. And this is how we have 1080p, 60 hertz, RGB and HDR and HDR is supported. So if you guys want to go play some games, uh, HDR is going to look beautiful. And look at this. This is Spider-Man. And when you're using native HDR on these games, you have two options. So this is a Cinema HDR I, which I showed you earlier. So with this... Uh, with this sensor that the monitor has at the bottom, what it does, it makes everything darker. Uh, like I said, it adjusts the brightness levels depending on the ambient light room. If you're so, if you're in a dark room, it's gonna make everything a little bit darker. Honestly, if you wanna take full advantage of HDR, I wouldn't be playing with this option. So let me just. There you go. So that is the native HDR option, which I think it looks beautiful. And let me tell you guys, this game looks awesome too. Trust me guys, this game and this monitor performs really good with consoles. I mean, if you're very competitive, you're probably going to be playing on PC, right? To get the most uh, performance out. But if you're going to be just like me, like a regular gaming and enjoying beautiful colors and... HDR, well, this monitor is good for you. Now, I was going through the uh, through the website on BenQ, and it says that it's 250 nits of peak brightness. So I'm assuming that is only for SDR or standard dynamic range because on HDR, this looks pretty bright. So I don't think this is 250 nits. I've seen 300 nits or 350 nits, and they don't look good, as good as this. So I'm thinking this is around 400, but I could be wrong. I'm just basing this through the experience that I've had with other type of monitors. All right, so let me, let's change to another game, right? Let's do this. 
All right, guys. So guess what? We have the new Call of Duty campaign, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign available only on the PlayStation as for right now. So it does support HDR. So this is the remastered campaign and it also supports HDR. And look how beautiful this looks. My God. So there's a couple of things I wanted to mention before I continue, guys. I noticed that on the camera, through the camera, there's some glow on the top, uh, right here, right, right, right over there, right, and then over here through all the top. I noticed there's some glow, but there's nothing like that in person. All right, so I just wanted to keep that in, uh, show, uh, talk about that because there's nothing like that. I also noticed there's some like lines, some like squares throughout the game. It's nothing like that in person. It looks sharp. It looks colorful. It looks beautiful. Wow, so awesome to be able to play this campaign again. So there you go, guys. This monitor looks pretty awesome. It has three HDMI ports. So if you have your Xbox, your PlayStation, your Nintendo Wii, not the Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Switch, then you can have everything connected. Or also you can use your Fire Stick as I showed you earlier before, which looks amazing with HDR as well. So this monitor sells for $200. If you're interested in buying one, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video. You guys definitely check it out. It is a really good affordable 1080p with HDR and 75 hertz of refresh rate. You can obviously over overclock it. Oh my God. And it also supports FreeSync. Now it works with my Xbox, but not on the PlayStation. Obviously, it doesn't support it. So there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I highly recommend this monitor for the price. If not, if you want something more performance, check out the other one, the EX2780Q. All right. Let's do this. Let's light them up. Whatever. They're running. They must be hiding something. Holy mackerel, what the hell? I mean, he's not dying? Oh my god. Get us out of here. I forgot about this. Oh my god, oh Jesus. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. oh my god, I'm getting bombarded. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, it was my friends. Oh what the hell? This is like a roller coaster. Oh my god. I forgot about all this action. Oh. I can I can oh no. Oh my god. This is crazy. Let's do this.